Hey guys, this is Primeval, back with part 17 of my Shoshone playthrough. So, let's take a look at how our spies are doing. We've got a 28% chance for a coup in Kathmandu, and we're rigging elections in all of the city states next turn. A 0% chance in the other cities. We lost a Comanche rider. Iroquois. Ethiopia has replaced Afi as an ally. So we can go and make peace there. Bonus Aries is still at war, and Kathmandu is also still at war. They also have uranium. Hmm. Uh, negotiate peace. Hawatha has four uranium, uh, and possibly another four from Kathmandu. Okay, what we want here is dogfighting, dogfighting, and dogfighting three. Go and rebase you to Gashuti. Take bombardment three. Let's grab ourselves. An airport would be decent. Uh, I haven't actually used the airdrop before, so seeing how that works might be nice. We've got uh, one unit training here that we might want to airdrop, but let's actually go and build another fighter. Okay, so uh, it's time to test out what sort of defense Onondaga has. Let's go do an air sweep. No resistance. Oh, awesome. Alright, so looks like Onondaga's going down today. Although their uh, natural defense is still pretty strong. Uh, let's move over. Well, set up there. Should I risk losing, potentially losing some of my artillery here? Uh, yes, yes I will. I have my own uranium online now. And uh, what I should have done with that battleship was uh, used him to get vision on Lake Simcoe in case I had some extra air attacks left after finishing with Onondaga. Okay, we're gonna want the machine gun. Or the anti aircraft gun over here. And start knocking Onondaga down. Uh, we are taking a lot of damage, so it might be safer if this particular unit. Delta's damage elsewhere. Okay, we're getting Onondaga down to half strength here. Now one third strength. Cavalry unit cannot take on Onondaga in one turn, uh, but if we station him right here, perhaps the next turn will be ready for that, and maybe we can push forward with the infantry as well, which means um, the great general might be vulnerable, but let's push forward like that. Go heal up, and that looks good. Let's see. May as well push this artillery forward too. All right, and we did have one fighter on intercept, so that's good. Uh, ok, 
Okay, you'll pay for that shotgun. Let's see if, um... Oh yeah, they are smart enough to rebase all the airplanes. Although, it looks like they're all going for, like, Simcoe here. It's too bad I don't have a melee unit in the water. No privateer. Because, with my current Air Force, I might be able to knock down Lake Simcoe to nothing. Um, if we annex Mombasa, no, it, the privateer unfortunately wouldn't be able to move that turn. Okay, here we'll go and take logistics, which is reduction, there's a stock exchange. Let's go grab a privateer here. And a privateer here as well. Fighter can go and rebase. Okay, well, go and take a look at what's happening at Lake Simcoe. Uh, this is actually dangerous. I won't be able to retreat to Mombasa, the safety of Mombasa. A whole bunch of Great War bombers and even more triplanes. Okay, well, first of all... Let's go and see... I'm going to do an air sweep on Onondaga, no resistance. Which of our bombers are fairly healthy? Looks like the Zulu are preparing for another attack here. We'll go intercept. And let's go sub hunting. Great general can hang out there, so can this guy. Leave that guy for now. What I want to do send in my bombers. That guy definitely needs to heal. Intercept. Alright, so now to capture Onondaga. Well, we're standing there, we may as well pillage our health back, but uh, there we go. View the city. We've got a whole bunch of musical items in Broadway, but it looks like Hoatha was able to clear out the rest of his great works. Got an airport, stadium, zoo, broadcast tower, lots of nice culture slash tourism wonders and a research lab with the university. I'll go and create a puppet and fortunately he's got enough uh, happiness buildings here to offset the happiness hit. So five off of the Eiffel Tower, four off of the Chichen Itza, and then we've also got a stadium and a zoo. Alright, that's great. Let's go and move the anti-aircraft gun forward just a little. 
and well, may as well move the artillery as well. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll pull the one, two, three, four, five cavalry over here, and let's hope that our battleship doesn't die here. Probably will. But I hope he won't. Triplane, triplane. Hawatha must be falling behind on tech here. And we're good. I can also go and reposition some of those great works, assuming I have uh, great music slots elsewhere, since um, I don't get any tourism or culture while the city's in resistance. What will Hawatha do? He'll think. Uh, okay, so we destroyed my battleship. Um, yeah, we can sell that. That was a lot of air attacks. So what did we lose? Um, Ethiopia went and built the Sion Tower. We lost our battleship. We lost one of our plus one range and logistics artillery, which was too bad. We lost a cavalry unit, and we've rigged a whole bunch of elections. Our aluminum deal has expired. We've got ourselves an anti-aircraft gun. And, hmm don't have any way, any easy way of getting vision on Lake Simcoe here. We do have an archaeologist. Let's go and delete him for 50 bucks and to save on the gold per turn. Let's get to work on a paratrooper here. Ondaga is connected to the capital. We've discovered rocketry. We're 17 turns off from satellites, and we've got some upgrades we can take. Uh, air repair and bombardment too. All right, so we'll give uh, the units that. Well. I don't think we're going to die if we attack here. Let's send a stronger unit in to check on that, though. Yeah, not too much damage there. Go on intercept. Uh, I think I can risk stationing one fighter there. Just go and pull back one. The road is pillaged, but we have an alternate route via Mbaza Congo. If I can get this guy. Okay, that's been repaired. Let's go and repair this road and the truffles. Fortify, fortify. Uh, we can take some upgrades here. That'll cost 360. Let's go and sell some Why things to Hawatha. Uh, do you like coal? Yes, I believe you do. Okay. 45, 180 for 4. Another two coal, perhaps. 
Alright, so Ethiopia already has uranium. A little extra uranium couldn't hurt, could it? I don't need eight uranium. Let's sell four for two twenty. Okay, that seems fine. Let's go and upgrade some more of our artillery here. Alright, so first we want to make sure Onondaga doesn't get easily retaken. Uh, let's not use this bomber right away. Send a stronger one in first. Let's go and grab invasion. is probably safe to hang out in Onondaga for now. We've got a great general. Uh, let's go and drop him here. And we can continue hunting for subs. Taking out all of the Malay units. And perhaps we should rebase some guys over to Goshuti since it looks like Shock is getting antsy here. Let's see, we've got one bomber. He does have air repair. Another bomber for sieging cities. Alright, that's fine. Twelve aircraft at Grand River and six at Gashuti. Alright, so the world leader vote is coming up now. The To win, I said we'll need 31 votes. We are at 14. The top two civs, I believe, at a failed world leader vote get an additional vote, so I'm happy to be in second place here. Everything else seems to be in order. We'll go... well, let's make sure there's nothing else we can go and sell to Watha here. Uh, I could sell some more uranium, but it's best to hang on to a little of that. Perhaps Elizabeth would like some horses or iron. No. Shaka. Perhaps you would like some truffles. Uh, I don't think so. How about for four gold per turn? Three gold per turn. Alright, maybe that'll discourage him from declaring war on me right away. Even though I did rebase some of my bombers, I do want to continue pushing on uh, Hawatha's lands here. But, just in case this massive force is uh, hostile, we want to have a few bombers to take care of any Malay units headed for Gashuti. And we can also go and pull back this foreign legion, maybe upgrade him as well. Okay, all of this looks good. Open borders for 50, sure, I could use the gold. 
Okay, and Shaka did indeed declare war on us, and we got massively attacked by uh, Great War Bombers and Triplanes. I hope I killed some of them. Okay, Grand River, Onondaga, Kashuti are all very low on health. There's a fighter done. Hmm, we might need to go nuclear here. It's only eight turns for the Manhattan Project. Yeah, we'll get the Manhattan Project rolling then. Opera House has been built. Gold return for Shaka has ended. Some units. Genoa seeks a great writer. Um, here we'll want to be on interception. Okay, great work, bomber. You can heal there. unit uh, wants to help defend some mark end so first well let's swing by the Zulu's border here and see what sort of navy they have they don't really have much we could capture ourselves an ironclad Uh, 62 damage on 54. It's probably not going to do what we want. Uh, we're also too far away to actually capture the ironclad this turn. Okay, one, two, three. I thought these guys had the plus one range, but I guess they didn't. Go and stow you in Mombasa. No melee units in danger of retaking Onondaga. We'll just clear these guys out of the way and then we'll get ready to siege another city. City Siege 3. And we'll rebase you to Gashuti. Uh, or not. Intercept. Fortify. Well, let's actually go and hide the privateer. I don't want him to die. He's my only privateer in the area. Or actually only privateer anywhere. Okay, so assigning delegates, we will be voting for ourselves to get ourselves into second place. And we're working on the Manhattan Project, just in case things get a little too hairy against uh, either the Zulu or the Iroquois. Our fighters are on interception. Everything else seems fine. We're running minus 70 gold per turn, which is definitely not good. 
but there are worse things. Um, once it starts eating to our science, uh, that is when we'll have a problem. Okay, Kishuti, Mombasa, and Onondaga were bombarded by triplanes. Top two civilizations uh, permanently gain one delegate. So now we are at 15 while Hawatha is at 19. Okay. Our trade route was broken. Apparently, we're not at war with Elizabeth. I guess there's another sub in the water here somewhere. I uh, want to go and get this guy out of the water as quickly as possible then. Make a proposal. Let's go for world ideology or world religion. How's our religion doing? Our religion is Tengrism, and we're not the most populous here. Um, if we went to world ideology, that's the one that would be more likely to pass uh, because and there are more people following freedom than there are following Tengrism. So I think we're going to go and upset Ethiopia here by going for world ideology, freedom. And let's see now. Shoshone freedom. Our next policy is in 11 turns. Let's uh, worry about... Well, hmm. Do we have any Malay units? There is one infantry coming down from Montreal and another coming from... another uh, Marine coming from Lake Simcoe. Let's see, what sort of range? Do my artillery have? Okay, bombers. And we'll go and rebase this guy. Artillery on alert. Looks like we got a mobile SAM from one of our city-states, probably in Baza Congo. Let's go and park this guy beside Onondaga, or as close to that as possible. Uh, here, this worker could start on a mine, uh, but he's likely just going to get captured. Uh, running away is not going to do him any good. I'll just go and delete him now. Okay, bombardment. Let's see. Intercept. And that's a minor defeat. We pull alongside. Decisive victory. 
We've got ourselves an ironclad. Let's get the great general in there too. sub is still looking around for other subs. Okay, let's go and repair. I guess that's the truffles and then we can repair the road. Alright, that looks good and this is where we'll end part 17.